This week's Cooking With You guest is Renee Umnes of De Pere. She's been on the show before. We're so happy to have you back. But I have to give a big shout out to your friends. Take a look at this bag of corks. For my wedding, I'm collecting corks. I'm decorating with them. And your friends gave me three big bags of these. Yes. And who are your friends again? A shout out goes to Liz and Jen. Thanks, Liz friends. And Jen, <laughs> we're going to have to go get a drink. I'm going to have to thank you. So <laughs> I appreciate it. I, hopefully the decorations will look good for the wedding, too, coming up in September. So, awesome. So we'll see. We're so happy to have you back, Renee. Thank you. Why don't you tell everybody what you do for a living? Um, I wor work at Navigator Planning Group. It's a financial planning firm, and I'm an administrative assistant. But cooking is something you love to do. I love to cook. That's that's my main thing. I love my job, but cooking is my main thing. It is so, so great sometimes just being in the kitchen, working with different recipes, and something that's really great now for summer is the fresh produce that we can yes. get. You're going to make a cucumber salad. Tell me about this. Um, this was a recipe given to me by my niece, Holly, uh, many years ago, and I just thought it was fabulous. It's a, a great appetizer. Um, like last night, I made some of it, and Mark and I put it on top of our burgers. It's mm. just like a cucumber salsa. So simple, easy, great fresh produce, and really good. But you have to let it sit for a couple hours to let the, all the flavors meld together. Okay, how do we put it together? Okay, so we're going to take like four to five um, cucumbers, and then we're going to um, you know, peel them, slice them, and then take out the seeds. Just take it out with a spoon, just, and then we're going to do a small dice on them. And then we're going to take um, a bunch of green onions and we're going to dice those as well. And then we're going to take jalapenos. Now it all depends on how, if you like things hot or not so hot. So right in here I have um, three jalapenos that I seeded and chopped up. And then um, I have some fresh cilantro, just a bunch of fresh cilantro that I cut up. And then uh, we're just going to add some salt for some flavor however much salt. You don't really need a lot of salt. And then you're going to take about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And that's pretty much it. You're going to stir that up and um, just make sure that everything is all together. And like I said before, what you want to do is, um, you don't want to eat this right away because it's not going to taste all that good. You want to let this sit at least three to four hours or what I like to do is I like to do it overnight in the refrigerator because then all the flavors meld together and it's so good and then um, you can serve it with your favorite chips, favorite crackers, uh, we've put it over salmon, we've put it on our burgers, you can do just about anything you want with it. Or eat it plain. Or I eat mean, it plain. That looks great. Let's yeah. take a look at some pictures you sent us, Renee. Um, tell me about this one. This is my daughter Hillary. Um, this was at a Brewer game a couple years ago and uh, we love to go to Brewer games, her and I. I'm a big Brewer fan. <laughs> <laughs> they did good last night. Yes, they did, 13 to 10. Go Brewers. Go Brewers. <laughs> and this is um, my husband, Mark, and our daughter, Hillary, at a Packer game. They're the big Packer fans, so mm -hmm. um, they love to go to Packer games as much as they want. And this past May, we went to um, uh, Tennessee and we went hiking in the Smoky Mountains and this was a sunset that Mark took one one evening and this was a waterfalls that we hiked up to this was like about a five and a half mile hike up in um, the Smoky Mountains and it was a waterfall that you could walk behind wow. and it was really fun we just had a great vacation with great friends and so much fun how exciting this summer are you busy this summer Oh yeah, um, just staying busy, loving to cook, having cookouts, having people over. Being so. on Good Day Wisconsin, I mean, you I gotta know. get your priorities in order. <laughs> Absolutely, I love this. Yes, so in the eight o'clock hour, we're gonna make a peach mojito, is that yes. right? I yes. can't wait for that one. <laughs> you can go to our website to find these recipes as well. So it's really great. Perfect for summer. Renee, thank you so much for being with us. Again, go to our website, fox11online.com, and don't go anywhere. Good Day Wisconsin will be right back. I'm gonna have to dive into that.